childhood? Yeah. Did you always have an attitude? Or was it because of the memory loss? Ouch! That hurts my ego. I've always been known as a kind and caring sprite, thank you. So do. When the villagers were off in the forest collecting herbs, I found a special one and took it to Grandpa. He told me it was a rare medicinal plant, so I figured he wanted it. Sounds like you have the villagers' interests at heart, especially if you took it straight to your Grandpa. Is that the whole story? Did you end up giving it to him? He wouldn't take it. What? Why? Probably because I charged him for it. It was a rare plant, after all. You charged your own grandfather money for a weed? Hey, it was compensation! A finder's fee for discovering it in the first place. Guess the amnesia didn't change you at all. Alright, I guess uh, that was a little bit unnecessary. <laughs> They still seem to be quite a ways behind the um, main story as far as their conversations. Like, he got his... or it, whatever. Sprite got memories back a while ago. <laughs> Awkward. Thanatos is doing, but it looks like you already knew that. Yeah, thanks for the update. We've gotten word that the Emperor wants to call a truce. <laughs> it's hard to believe. He says he wants to disband the army and restore the Empire. Should we trust him? Probably shouldn't. Chrissy won't listen to anything the Emperor says since she lost Sog. Finally, we've managed to make the Emperor change his mind. What this resistance movement has been working for for so long. Should we go? Okay, we'll go. Come with us. This is it. Tylek will be himself again, and there will be no need to worry about the Mana Fortress anymore. We'll go on ahead. Oh, you people are idiots. Okay. They are gonna go. They think they're uh, on their way to broker some kind of a peace treaty with the Emperor. That's one of the weirder kind of aspects of the storyline in this game. Now, I guess you can say from a certain respect that the since the original game wasn't really that deep in terms of storyline to begin with, it's not that huge of a deal that we have these kind of awkward story bits here. Welcome, honored guests. The Emperor awaits you. Yeah, you sound trustworthy. It's not that big of a deal that these storyline beats are awkward and... Welcome, honored guests. The Emperor awaits you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There wasn't that much of a kind of reliance on the whole, oh, the Emperor and the Empire, whichever, whatever the Empire's name is actually supposed to be, is coming down on us and they're conquering the world and all that kind of crap so it's not that big of a deal but I mean in a certain respect we haven't really seen a lot from the Empire itself sure we've had our encounters with Thanatos and the other of the Emperor's lackeys but we haven't really seen like a lot of pressure from the Empire itself in fact we haven't really until we hit Southtown encountered or actually you know what until we hit the sand ship in Karaka, have we even really encountered the Empire itself? So it's kind of weird that we suddenly get to North Town. Or you get to South Town and then you transfer or you move up to North Town. It's like, oh, this is the Empire. They're everywhere. Oh, and we have a peace treaty with them. Obviously, some kind of a trap. The game's not going to end here. Yeah, nah, let's just play on. Up oh, there he is. Bye bye. What a day to remember. Perhaps I shall make it a national holiday. Let's commemorate the day that pesky resistance was eradicated. Right along with the foolish hero of legend. Pipe down. Where the hell do you go? <laughs> Curses was a trap. 
Yes. Don't bother fighting back or anything. Okay, they sick us all in the same cell. That makes sense. Let us out of here. Telling me? I'm not the one that locked you up. A dirty dog. I should have known better. Yes, you all should have known better. Quiet. So you want out, huh? Fine. What? <laughs> Don't let us out. Let the others out. Relax. You don't want to be too hasty now. Let's start with you. Yeah, just shove us into a hole. Oh, it's the Mantis Ant. Okay, we have another boss battle. Um, I guess see, it's gonna pretty much go along the same route that the previous battle with the Mantis Ant did. Only in this case, I guess we're not gonna expect uh, Gemma to save our asses. I did manage to get upgrades for the weapons. Uh, as I kind of suspected, after the last dungeon, I was still not going to have enough money to to um, upgrade all of my crap. So I went and had to go and grind out a little bit to... Um... Oh, it's dead. That was a little tad easy. <laughs> Wondering why girl didn't take any damage when she got hit with that spell. It looked like she took damage. The weapon upgrades are getting more expensive. That was actually the problem. I had enough money for my armor upgrades, but I didn't have enough money to do the weapon upgrades and the armor upgrades. I didn't even have enough money for the weapon upgrades themselves because it ended up costing me... Um, costing me, uh, like, 1,600 GP per weapon, and I had three weapon upgrades. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to be, anyway? An odd setup for a castle? Ah, do the Legend of Zelda thing. No, no, can't do that. We left. They left their crap here. And money. Not enough for a weapon upgrade, but it's money. Oh, look at that. Yeah, 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 let's... I wonder, because in the original game, I could... I couldn't, I don't think, charge weapons up and then proceed through a point. Maybe I can do it here. Yes, I can. And it misses. Man, these uh, charge death blows seem to miss a lot more often than they should. Stop burning Sprite. Oh. Oh, Sprite got healed anyway. Oh, they multiply. <laughs> Be a good way to, um... Stop missing every freaking hit. Good way to... Get and grind money and experience points. Very Walnut. Hey, Chrissy. They left you alone? No, let's stick the frickin' together, because I'm gonna leave and you're gonna stand there like an idiot. Oh, whatever. I figured that might have been a button or something. <laughs> you're dead, right? So many misses. You know, this is happening a lot in regards to the bosses. I mean, it's driving me insane because it's making the game, like, really difficult. I mean, the last boss, notwithstanding, because that one went down like a bitch. But the rest of them, like, so many misses. Oh! These guys, these are the enemies that I was grinding um, money on. Because you can attack them at the entrance to the castle without actually getting into the castle. And then you leave and they respawn if you need to rest and do that. 
So they can basically do that indefinitely. Oh, it's a my, it's a... What do they call them? Mimics. I don't remember them being in the original game. Alright, let's see what this new ability looks like. Was it level 5? Alright, really cool looking, but it missed. <laughs> In fact, these were specifically the enemies that I had fought. Because it's the entrance to the castle. Now, we can't escape for some damn reason because those hurdles are in our way. <laughs> can't go over them, can't go under them, we're trapped forever. Are you dead yet? Oh. <laughs> that was stupid. Alright, let's get out of here. What is you? Oh, you know what? This is the direction we went before. I'm gonna go the other way, don't I? So many misses. Stop missing. Man, I just realized how bad the texture filtering was. Look how bad it is when you get that much of an angle. It just gets blurry. It becomes a blurry mess. Haha. <laughs> Hiding behind that Harry Potter invisible blanket. You're not dead yet? No, oh, no, of course not, because I keep missing. Die, damn it. Hey, that's weird. That door come from? Dark Ninja is confused. And now he's dead. Or should be. Oh, wait, no, it's the wrong way. Miss. How do you miss? unconscious. If you miss now. <laughs> There's got to be some evasion stat or some accuracy stat that... I mean, there's no real way to upgrade your stats because you're not choosing them on level up. Is it perhaps that I'm just not a high enough level to be at this part of the game? Because that would be really depressing if that were the case. I gotta kill these guys because I gotta make sure that I'm going to have enough uh, money by the next by the next checkpoint in the game to be able to upgrade my weapons and armor and all that kind of shit. Oh, that did some damage. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't uh, you can't step on this because you'll just sort of get wiped back. I gotta go around. Ah, another one. That sounded like a hit. Yep, that didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing something here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hmm. Does it matter which one you step on? Something I'm not, uh... Okay, you have to die. I realize that Prim's almost down. It's the only one that's got any damage, so. Just run past all of you. I'm done with killing you bastards. You're inconsequential anyway in the grand scheme of things. Or even in the, uh, narrow scheme of things. None of you matter. It's going back because I forgot something. Jeez, you couldn't have that be one map. I mean, it seemed, I guess I had to expect that this mach this thing was going to be released for the PSP. Because there is a PSP release of this game. So they sort of had to scale down the scope of a little bit in order to match the uh, comparatively weak system that the PSP is in terms of memory and processing power and all that kind of stuff. In comparison to what you're going to see on, say, the PlayStation 4. Or what the that. fuck? Oh, takes more than that. Hey, orbs. Don't stand there. Yes. What? Up, the oh, up, oh, sprites down. <laughs> Guess I should have killed those guys before I tried getting the treasure chest. the wrong way again. Okay, this is safe room. And are you alive? Yep, you're alive. But anyway... All those uh, scaled-down efforts that you have to make for the sake of the PSP have sort of hindered the PC and I imagine the PlayStation 4 version of this game as well. There should reasonably, I mean, considering what we're looking at, the low-res textures and everything, for all of these environments and characters and the simplistic geometry models and all that, I don't see any good reason why we should be hit with all these loading screens when moving between these different areas. I mean, if it can't stream that data off the hard disk, then what the hell's wrong with it? If it can't simply load the entire castle, it should be able to load the entire castle. And then we just move from one area to the other, because there weren't these kinds of loading screens in the original game. I mean, there were between, uh, like, drastically different environments, but a lot of the different rooms simply had you sliding from one to the next without any, like, intrusive black screens or anything like that. Honestly, even with the PSP, I would have figured... Or not the PSP, the PS Vita. I still would have figured that you would be able to achieve that. This had something to do with it, right? I'm going to kill you again. Oh, I did get through. Haha. <laughs> I should have 
just a legendary swordsman could handle the fight. Maybe you shouldn't have let me out of my cell. I see how Gesh Tower and Thanos would have such trouble. Your Majesty, one more chance, please! Hmm. Why not? I'm off to the palace. You finish them and come to me. Yes, sir. To reclaim my honor, prepare yourself! Okay, we're fighting Mech Rider again, and I guess this sort of form of Geshter. And it's just the same fight as before. Obviously, he's. His, oh shit. Haha, <laughs> didn't expect that. The same boss fight as before, only with his stats, of course, are going to be higher. And we're gonna have to, um... Damn it! He takes way too much damage from that attack. Back here. We're in a much more confined area, though. Uh, I don't know which is. I guess I could check what his weakness is. Because that sure as shit didn't do it. What did it say his weakness was? I didn't see it. <laughs> Stop taking crazy damage from every freaking hit. What the hell's wrong with you? Haha, uh -huh, critical hit. And he's dead. Javelin Orb. sudden so I hopped on and now I'm here with you guys he might be big but he's still a baby I think he thinks you're his parents and was feeling a little homesick here take this flammy drum I've been training him with it it's his favorite toy just sound this drum and he'll come straight for you anyway let's blow this popsicle stand oh actually could you drop me off in Matengo on your way? Just head southwest from here.
What? <laughs> Finally, the world map. Jeez. Should have been seeing it every damn time we took the cannon travel. Okay, it clearly is a major step up from the Mode 7 graphics that we had seen in the original game. Uh, let's see if we can identify where the different places are. Wind Palace, Water Palace, Nikos, B. Uh, it's a little hard for me to find my way around now. Of course, it was difficult in the original game because of like the low-res pixelization, but it's, I guess, the, the desert, Karaka. Um, there's another place here, Moon Palace. I'm not going there just yet. Gold City, be there soon. North Town, that's where we just came from. North Town Ruins, here's South Town then. Don't know what this is, it's nothing. Just gotta make it look like more exists on the map than the areas you go to. Makes sense. Cup. Lighthouse Isle. Pandora. Oh, yeah. I mean, you get to see it in a whole different light right now. Bow Village. Witch Castle. Ah, it's a whole different, like, adding all this depth to it. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. It's a whole different perspective on the way that this world is set up. Where Gaia's navel is in relation to everything else. That this is all in some kind of a lowland. And this would be, uh, Forest of Seasons Cannon Travel Center. So it's the Northlands here. Wind Palace. I gotta go to Matango. Here we go. Oh, I can go up and down and everything. How do you like riding good old Flammy? If you ever get lost up in the clouds, you can use his specially honed senses. You'll find the lofty mountains to the southwest. What you seek is there. Sad to see him go, but it's time. Come back and visit me again, okay? Alright, we should have an item in our inventory. Yeah. The drum. There it is. Here. Okay, that music sound effect plays off a little bit too fast. Oh, anyway, I guess that'll be the end of this episode. Is this the... Okay, yeah, that's something that's a little different. I don't remember this being its own individual continent. But I guess that really doesn't matter. I wonder. Because there was a glitch. There was a glitch in the original game. Which allowed you to gain an extra orb. If you... a sword orb. If you flew... There was a little island. I wonder if I try landing in any random place. If it'll... Okay, yeah. This is where you'd have to land in front of Nico. But I have a feeling that nothing's gonna happen here. <laughs> that you'd save here and then you'd do some other crap and I can't remember the details. But whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching.